Hello, welcome to my sports cards talk, chat, whatever you want to call it. But we're here to talk about the NBA Finals with Giannis. The guy who set the market, his cards going from hundreds, 300, four, five, six, seven hundred dollars, now up to thousands of dollars. So we're going to take a look at just some eBay sales. There was multiple thousands of dollars that were spent over the last couple hours because of the NBA championship. Giannis Antetokounmpo was kind of a given. I've heard from a couple people that they were worried about a championship already kind of being baked into his prices. But I have a feeling that it might stay steady for a little bit and then drop just a little bit, but then get hedged. I've just seen a picture. I'll pop the picture up right here of a, some guy. I don't know who he, I barely found out who he was, but this guy has so many, so many honest rookies. I highly doubt he's selling. Highly, highly, highly doubt he's selling. He's probably fucking buying more. So, Giannis is still young. He just won his first championship. I have respect for his championship because he didn't leave Milwaukee. I know last year it was all the talk. Oh, you need to leave Milwaukee. He needs to leave Milwaukee to go and get a championship. Nah, bro. He brought that shit home. So, let's take a look at eBay. Let's see what sales have happened. I know a whole bunch of his Prism rookie cards have been selling like hotcakes. I know a whole bunch of alternative. I know the even the hoops. The hoops rookie's up to $600 for a PSA 10. That's crazy shit right there, bro. Let's take a look at some prices. Also, I know one of my friends bought the gold Chris Middleton, and I'm not going to disclose who it is, but that was a smart-ass buy a couple months ago. I'm not going to disclose what he bought it for either, but that was a smart-ass move because Chris Middleton is the NBA champion now, so let's look. Now... If we're looking at this right now, a raw, a raw Giannis Prism rookie card, 2013-2014, drafted out of Athens, Greece. The Greek freak is PSA 10 is listed right now for 3K. 3K with three with 13 watchers on it. I think if one of these gets bought, people start having FOMO. I just wanted to pop this in here really quick because I used too much card jargon at times because i'm used to being in the hobby but if you're brand new fomo means fear of missing out so if you see a low population card just disappear you might accidentally pay too much for it because people are kind of on the fence about spending this much money i mean this is unrealistic as a motherfucker for me hell no i'll never spend this much money on a card fuck that shit but with people who have millions of dollars in the bank account, this amount of money is nothing. <laughs> so totally different perspectives. I think once a couple get bought, if people have financial advisors and with more financial advisors advising people to have alternative investments, especially with the stock market crashing and Bitcoin and all this cryptocurrency going down, alternative investments that have a limited supply will thrive because you don't know how much well we know how much bitcoin there are and stuff like that but the market cap goes to 27 million or something of the sort or higher i don't know but i know that there's only a certain amount of psa 10 Giannis rookie cards so that's probably a safe place to put your money rather than the one point something billion shares of fucking facebook or something so uh, is Giannis going anywhere probably not is his green rookie card PSA 8 going for $3,700? Yeah. <laughs> Man, this is just the listings. Let's look at some completed items. Refresh. Look at some completed items. Bam, right there. First listing, a comp. A comp for $2,975. Someone just paid three thou wows plus tax for a fucking card. That's some crazy shit. $500 for the one without his jersey on it. Random Giannis lot. It <laughs> doesn't. For $135. PSA 9, 1100. A 9. A 9 is selling for over a thousand bucks. Am I telling you to go buy this shit? Fuck no. <laughs> hell no this is so i don't know man 
I, I can't I can't tell you to buy it because I can't buy it. I can't tell you to not buy it because if you want it, you just go get it, I guess. But that's a lot of fucking money, so I don't know. I can't give you I can't I don't you do whatever you want. I think there might be a little bit better options in the other other uh sets like maybe select revolution. Well, was revolution a set? I'm not sure. I think Revolution was 2015 first. Someone correct me if I'm wrong, but insane. I think this was actually a fucking steal. <laughs> That's crazy. But let's look at some other players um, that I think matter a lot, especially with uh, them just winning the championship. So Chris Middleton. We're just going to go straight into complete listings. I don't want to go over the stuff. You guys can look at the stuff that's available. I just want to show you what has sold because comps are everything. Apparently, in this new age card market, comps are everything. So, 330 on a PSA 10. 135. There's a big price differential between Chris Middleton and Giannis Antetokounmpo when these people are still buying Chris Middleton rookie cards for $65 a pop. And I don't see them ever going back down because it's an older card, 2012, 2013. Bless you. It's a 2012, 2013 with an extremely low population because if someone, we don't know who bought these. For all I know, one person could have bought this whole thing. Add cart, add cart, add cart, add cart, swipe. That's how easy it is to edge hedge on eBay. So, Chris Middleton, just like Jokic, just like Jamal Murray, I don't think Chris Middleton's prices have spiked yet. And I think there might be an uprising right there. And also, one other person that I just want to talk about just really quick, just to keep this video kind of short. Um, am I spelling his name right? Probably not. Drew Holiday, like, man, Drew Holiday. I always heard so much about Drew Holiday's defense. Drew Holiday's defense. Drew Holiday's defense. This now he's the greatest defensive player in the league. Hardest player to play against. Listening again, listening to JJ Reddick's podcast and multiple other um, sports, real sports analysis, um, saying that Drew Holiday's a fucking baller. And man, I I saw that during this playoff run for sure. Drew Holiday's a fucking beast, dude. So. I mean, there's not a lot of listings for Drew Holiday on his rookie card either. There's only this one that I could see. There's a pop. It's a pop three. That's a pop three on Drew Holiday. What the fuck? <laughs> Just stuff to think about. There might be a run up in cards, especially with Giannis setting the market last time. We will find out what will happen. Thanks for watching. Like, comment, subscribe. If anything, let me know who we should talk about next. Maybe the Suns. I have a totally different perspective on the Suns. Now that Devin Booker's out, maybe I can get a Devin Booker rookie card, but we'll see. Take care, guys. Stay safe. Stay healthy. Talk to you later.